So then uh, the next drive, we come out and run a uh, counter and restart the drive. Um, you can see the initial action here from Malcolm Brownless to this uh, far side of the field and then gets back and comes play side. You can see this is the typical blocking that we do for counter where we are bringing the uh, H-back and the guard across to block, uh, similar to power blocking. So what gets us you know, on this play, it, we continue to struggle with these crashing defensive ends. Um, you can see this defensive end crashes really hard um, and sort of gets in the C gap here. And Walters struggles picking up that assignment, which this is his assignment as he comes down the line. He struggles picking up that assignment, and what he, he wants to do is get in on this defensive end and then get him either turned inside or pushed up field. Um, he's able to barely get his arm around him. And this defensive end is able to kind of make a, a great play, which is get inside and then cut back out and make a play on the counter. Because it's slow developing, he has the time for that to happen. Um, the rest of the blocking looks pretty good on this play. Um, you'd like to get a little bit of a better win from Cody Johnson on this linebacker. But other than that, you're pretty happy. Um, or I should say on the safety instead of the linebacker. Um, so you'd like to get a, bit, a little bit better push there. But the play gets stopped uh, either way from the defensive end getting in the backfield. So this is definitely something that we needed to address was how to how to deal with these defensive ends crashing. Um, we had some things that were going good for us in terms of the power read off of that. Um, but our off-tackle game was uh, struggling. The other thing to notice about this play is it's basically a broken play. Um, this motion from Monroe is supposed to come all the way across the formation before we snap the ball. I think because the play clock's winding down maybe, uh, Espinoza snaps the ball early here. And so we just run the counter without this sweep action, uh, creating hesitation at the linebacker level. Um, so that's another factor that could have affected this play. 